Can you hear me? All right. <clears throat> We're just going to start singing and uh, singing Sa. And I'm going to set up the other machine here, which I had to switch over to something. So make sure you have your B Tanpur on and something I want to share with the links. I'll put this in in a little while, but Remember, Sa is the mother note. <clears throat> if anybody needs any of the links for this course, it's it's in the chat <clears throat> in this Google document. There's a bunch of stuff in there. I'll talk about it later. But if, if for some reason you need the Tanpura drone, uh, get it from there, <clears throat> please. Say. Good to see everyone. It's a crazy time in the world. I'm uh, happy to, that we can come together and just make some peaceful music here. Um, give me one sec. I'm just going to sit down while we're all singing <clears throat> and at the other computer. Can y'all hear me here? Oh, I got to mute the other one. Do you want to get those lights there? Oh, yeah.
Welcome everyone. Oh, I need to let one more person in. Keep keep playing, please. Maybe <laughs> someone else needs to come in. You can do it up there. Uh, I can help you. Yeah. Uh, Focus on stillness of the notes. Hey, before we start singing the raga, I just want to uh, say that I hope uh, that this class can be kind of a a little bit of a peaceful respite from the chaos right now. But I also hope that it can also just be, as we sing this raga, it can be uh, a prayer for change. Um, as we remember all our brothers and sisters who we've lost from police violence and uh, that this painful episode can be a movement forward um, to a real revolution of values in our own humanity. Uh, so I just wanna say that as, as we go into the, just the stillness. Um, I was watching on the news today, something interesting besides the rioting, which is going on all over the country, there was some gatherings of people also just just meditating in New York City. Um, people of all backgrounds and, and colors getting together. So there's all kinds of ways that we can fight for justice. And uh, I think we just need to be clear now that what this is about and not not let politicians or uh, powers that be kind of write the agenda, if you know what I mean. So I just want to take that prayer into the class tonight, especially as we open up here. Say. singing through the sound of the tanpura we want to hear our voice really reflecting what is going on through the harmony of the tanpura our voice and the tanpura is one sound This is mean. 
the sliding between the notes. Yaman, pure Yaman Raga. Madani. So one of the one of the things we talked about a lot was certain notes sa and fa which we can jump over. So these typical phrases. Coming to sa in a descent is much more common. We make the same movements around fa, the fifth note. Madani da pa. So after I sing, Alma will repeat the phrase on the sarangi, and that's when you can sing along. So you hear me singing, then sing along with her. So I'm just riffing in the typical phrases in what we would call alap. Alap is the the meditation on the pure spirit and feeling of the raga. Try to really hear that pure God, that third, which should 
it's the fifth harmonic in the harmonic series. It's a pure third. It's not our Western tempered third, which is very sharp. We want to tune. We can hear it in the sound of the tanpura, actually. If you listen really closely, that's the third you want to tune into. I think there may be a couple new people. Some of you I can't see, but uh, if there's a new person there, just raise your hand. All right. Yousef, all right. I saw you raise your hand. I might have missed someone else. Brian, are you new? But you were here. All right. Mo So if some of you are not familiar with the sargams, Saragama Padanisa, hit me up afterwards and I'll make sure you have all this information. Uh, I want to review some of the phrases we did last week. Gama Dani Dhapama Ni Dhapama Gerisa These are very basic phrases, but we're going to try them with rhythm. So I'm just going to pull them up on the other screen again for those who didn't uh, didn't get the document yet. So we started this last week a little bit. Again. Again. Again, Gama Tani Tapama Nida Pama Gadisa. Nida Pama Gadisa. 
Now, first and second one together. Nide gama garesa gama thani dapama slow first Nide gama garesa gama thani dapama Again Nide gama garesa so notice that we're skipping the sa and the pa on both of those phrases going up and bringing them into the rag on the way down. Now, take the first phrase and put it in the third position, but sing it an octave up. So now in time, S same as before, we're just doing the first and the third one, but starting the first one an octave up. So do this in the different speeds. Eventually you want to be Nide Gama Garesa Gama Dani Dapama Nide Gama Garesa Nida Pama Garesa. So I'm just adding the first one after the second one an octave up. Nide, let's try it together. One, two, three, four. Nide gama garesa, gama dani da pama. Nide gama garesa, ni da pama garesa. Nide gama garesa, gama dani da pama. Nide gama garesa, ni da pama garesa. Nide gama garesa, gama dani da pama. Nide gama garesa, ni da pama garesa. Good. Now we're going to um, drop the rest at the end of the phrase. So we did this last week. And uh, in the Tala Rupak, we have a seven beat Tala, so we can fit this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. D, D, na, D, na, D, na. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This, this cycle of seven is in both North and South Indian music. And it, when we call it rupak, we show the open hand on the one, which is very unusual because open hand means kali, means empty. Kali hat means empty hand. So that's usually a de-emphasized point of the taller, the rhythmic structure. So when we show this on the one, it's unusual. Usually we have a clap on the one, but in this tala, in the seven beat cycle, we show the Kali on the one. It's an anomaly, okay? So this is something interesting and we can learn to keep track of the tala in different ways. We'll get, we're gonna count on our, on our, on our, the digits of our fingers, like double players do to calculate T highs and different rhythmic formulae. 
and then we're going to just keep Tala with our hands in this way. And, and this basic way is what's written on the sheet there. So you have um, the way I'm going to teach it to you is two open claps. You'll see it also done with just one, where you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But we're going to go one, two, three because it just makes it a little easier when you're learning it. And that's how they do it in South India also, where it's called uh, Mishra Chapu, seven beats. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On four and six, we're gonna have a, a closed hand clap, okay? So we have this stuff. Dina, Dina, Dina. Now we're gonna start with the same exact phrase, but dropping the rest. So, ni re ga ma ga re sa, ni re ga ma ga re sa, ga ma dha ni dha pa ma, ga ma dha ni dha go up. Ni re ga ma ga re sa, ni re ga ma ga re sa, let's start, do it all together okay can you see my hands now bam bam that's okay Good, that's not too hard. The challenge now is to keep your hand on the same laya. Laya means speed or tempo and then sing the notes double speed. So, mi re ga ma. So the first will be mi re ga. That second clap instead of being mi re on re will be on ga. Mi re ga ma ga re sa, mi re ga ma ga. Mi re ga ma ga re sa, mi re ga. Whoops. Mi re ga ma ga re sa, mi re ga ma ga re sa. There we go. Mi ga re sa, mi re ga ma ga re sa. Ga ma ta ni da pa ma, ga ma ta ni da pa ma. Ga ma ga re sa, mi re ga ma ga re sa, ni da pa ma ga re. Mi da pa ma ga re sa, mi re ga ma ga re sa, mi re ga ma ga re sa. Ga ma ta ni da pa ma, ga ma ta ni da. Then you can go back. So we're doing single speed and double speed with the same tempo. So, and I talked a little bit about this last week. If this throws you off because it's likely to do so when you're thinking in two speeds at once uh, and you're having trouble putting it together, then what I suggest I do with my students a lot is I just build it. I don't try to do the whole thing. I build it and see where each note lines up with each beat. So there's different ways to do that. One is if you say you wanted to count seven here, this is how a double player may count it. Di, di, na, di, na, di, na. Up to this. This is four, and then this is three. Di, di, na, di, na, di, na. Up to seven. This is beat seven in our little abacus on our fingers. So every time we hit this seven, we have to come back to one. Di, di, na, di, na, di, na. Ni re ga ma ga re sa. So that's straight ahead. One per beat. One over one. Now two. Ni re ga ma ga re sa. Ni re ga ma ga re sa. So that second repetition of the seven is going to come after three and a half. Okay. 
which is half a seven. So it makes sense. One, two, three, half nide gamma gare sa one. That's where that comes. So you have to be able to feel that kind of space. Nide gamma gare sa nide gamma gare sa. Now that's that's a little more uh, detailed viewpoint of of figuring out the tala. This is what every good tabla player calculates on their fingers, you know? So now the other way I was showing is here. One, two, three, four. Now we're not counting for every beat with our hand, but in our head we are because we know we have two together, then a rest, clap, rest, clap, rest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, three, five, and seven are no claps whatsoever. Those are the in-between beats, right? So if we're gonna build it here, build this phrase, the double speed seven with the single speed clap. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nide gama gareza. So if I get that far, I know the sa is landing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that four is actually the half beat after three beats. So since we have three and a half, it hits the four, and then we have to start again on the upbeat, which is after three and a half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we start knee in the space there. So get comfortable with starting in the space. The next clap is on ma. So instead of going the whole thing, I'm memorizing which notes are following with the clap where. Then you have a cognizance of the melody with the rhythm very clearly laid out in your brain. And when you map it in your brain, you'll remember it. If you don't map it up here, you won't remember it because you have no reference. You're not creating a new neurological connection if you don't name it, if you don't express it in a way that you're gonna remember it. It's gonna become a flimsy, flaky neuron that'll be, what was that? I don't really know. It was something, maybe three and a half beats something. No, it's got to be, you got to know where each note is landing in the cycle. So that's one, two, three. Instead of trying to finish it, I'm stopping there so I know this is where it's landing, right? Is this making sense? I hope so, I hope so. We'll do some questions afterwards, but let me finish this. We got to sa. Now halfway through the second one, a little more. Then all we need is garesa. Now we're back at the beginning. Now let's try it on the next phrase. And let's think about where each where each of those notes land with our clap pattern. Right? Six, seven. Single speed. We'll, we'll sing it twice, single speed. Here we go. Gama tani ta pa ma. Gama tani ta. Double. Gama tani da pa ma. Gama tani da pa ma. Gama tani. Okay, so first of all, gama tani ta and ta. Remember the pronunciation of ta, the sixth note. It's not. Da, it's not da, it's ta. Ta, ta, pa. And the pa sound is more like a, like a B. 
uh, it's softer than your typical American palsy pal. Pal, my pal Paul, pumpkin, you know, whatever. Ba, ba. Ba. So, back to where we were. Gamadani. So our first, our first eighth notes there will be connecting Gamadani instead of Gama Gamadani in single speed. Gamadani in double speed. Gamadani tapa ma na ma is our next clap. Gamadani tapa ma gamadani. That last clap, beat six, is going to be a knee. So we lay this like train tracks in our mind. What are those knee eggs? Gama, tani, da, ba, ma. Gama, and then back to ma, and then ni. Gama, tani, da, ba, ma. Gama, tani, da, ba, ma. That's it. Then we've got that phrase. Gama tani da ba ma 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 one. Now let's put the first two together. Nida gama garesa gama tani da ba ma. First, I'm going to sing them right next to each other, but single speed. Nida gama garesa. Gama Tani Da. Here we go. Gama Ganesa. Gama Tani Da Bama. Nide Gama Ganesa. Gama Tani Da Bama. Nide Gama Ganesa. Gama Tani Da Bama. Now, those connections I was talking about, which beats line up with which notes, when we lengthen the phrase, like we just did, because we put like A, the first one and the second one together. On the second one, um, on the second one, this pattern where it lines up gamma tani will be different. Nide gamma garesa gamma tani tapama. Nide gamma garesa gamma tani tapama. Nide gamma garesa gamma tani tapama. So you may have to go through the same process, like It's really just ni on the second one. Now let's do what we did before. The high nida gama and then the coming down just the scale from the seventh. Nida gama garesa. Sorry. Into double. So if we build that, I call it building it because building is a process. So we don't have all the, we don't have the finished product when, when you're in the process of building something, right? So you're... That's the same as before. That clap is on sa. None. Final clap is on ma coming down. So you can literally take the handout and you can circle the notes that hit the beats and you can write it out. Sometimes that's helpful. I do that with a lot when I'm trying to figure out rhythms against melody a lot because it helps me see where things line up with the beat. So anyone can download this, right? So that could be another way to do it or write it out so you understand or can visualize it in a way that will stick in your brain. 
because that's what we want to do. We want to look at it from as many different perspectives as possible so that it will rock our memory. You know, we have to always develop our musical memory as musicians. The more we understand and we absorb uh, new rhythms, new melodic fragments, even new harmonies, whatever you're learning, um, you have to reinforce it and find different ways to look at it. Then it becomes part of you, part of your musical language because it's in your memory and it's connecting with different emotions. So that's something I kind of rant about sometimes with some of my students. So now the double plus part of this that's on there is doing the half speed singing. Let's see if this is in my musical memory. So this is part two C. This is kind of like a little trickier because let's go from the single and then drop to half. One way you could look at this is I'm singing, well, I'm clapping in 7-4 and I'm singing in 7-2. When, you, when you're doing double, it's like singing in 7-8 and clapping in 7-4. All that means is that we're, we're singing a different speed than we're clapping. Either double or half. So it's a really good kind of exercise for, for mastering rhythm. Because later, uh, well, what I want to get into now when we switch more to the pure rhythm stuff is cross rhythms and how we can feel uh, phrases, odd phrases against even grooves. And this is something that happens in all music and definitely happens in South Asian music. So it's... Uh, it's a lot of fun. So try that. And if any of you is down, make a little, uh, a video of you doing it and post it on the Raga Jazz page. Just rock that shit out and put it up there. And uh, if you're having problems, let me know. Just shoot me a note with that. But let's see if there's any uh, questions on this because I want to jump into the rhythm stuff. Anybody have a question on what we're doing right now? Would it, would uh, just it unmute be? yourself. Uh, yep. Yeah, sorry, who's sorry. that? This is Jess. I don't know hey, Jess. Know. Oh, yeah, cool. I was getting kind of the rest of it, but at the half part, I mean, I wasn't totally getting it, but I was understanding at least, but the half time, I wasn't sure if it I was doing it. Do you mind doing that like one more time at all, if you can? Oh, sure. So, um, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. One thing you can do is just count half speed with this. So I'm clapping one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven one so i'm count i'm i'm clapping seven four and i'm saying seven two half the speed now with the notes you can do the same thing uh jess as i was doing when i was building it with the double speed i'd be 
Yeah, yeah, piece by piece. Right? I can do the same thing. I can be that that clap lands in the gap after re. So that's what I would notice. Because we're holding notes out longer, there's going to be claps that land in the gap. It's inevitable. So now that's a ga landing on the second clap of the second cycle. So you do the same thing and just build it up. Beast by beast. Okay, I know that clap comes after Dre. And the ga's on the upbeat of that clap. And ma is the same, upbeat of the next clap. Now that ga, as I said, ga, re, sa. And then that last one is sa. I think. Let's see. Does yep. that help? Yeah, definitely. Nice. Okay. Thank you. Okay. okay, awesome. Anyone else? Okay, cool. I'm gonna jump over to the to the rhythm station. Are you good with me, Paul? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, can you hear me here? Okay, cool. So, <clears throat> I was talking a little bit about cross rhythms. So let's all stand back up and get back to our movements. Uh, I'm gonna put that, oh, someone. I'm gonna put the 60 beat metronome on You guys hear that metronome? You guys hear that? Okay, cool. <clears throat> 60 BPM, right? Okay, so let's go through our let's go through our balls for the different numbers, and then we're gonna try some cross rhythms. Okay, so I went one to five. If there's anybody who's uh, like, what are we doing? It hasn't been here before. If I'm going to repost this Google Doc or Google folder sign in, and in this link, all of these balls, which are like rhythm words, all these are there. And so going up to seven. So for instance, ta, ta, ka, ta, ki, ta, ta, ka, demi, ta, ka, ta, ki, ta, ta, ka, ta, ki, ta, ta, ka, demi, ta, ki, ta, ta, ka, demi, ta, ki, ta, ta, Okay, so we're going to try going up uh, just to eight, and then we'll do some of the cross rhythms with this. Ta-ka-ta-ka-ta-ka-ta-ka-ta-ki-ta-ta-ki-ta-ta-ki-ta-ta-ka-dim. 
dimmi, tacca, dimmi, tacca, dimmi, tacca, dimmi, tacca, 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 Okay, if anyone out there is like, what, why is he dancing around? Why, what, what's up, what, what's the deal? We're doing this because we're really trying to internalize the rhythm. So if, if you're able to get up and step in time as you recite these things, because the more you can activate your body, the more your brain is involved because we evolved as human beings to move. That's part of our evolutionary structure. So this helps. It actually really does help. You may think I'm a goofy ass musician from California, but this works, dude! Yo! Ta ka ta ka ta ka ta ka ta ki ta ta ki ta ta ki ta ta ki ta ta ka dimmi ta ka dimmi ta ka dimmi ta ta ka ta ki 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 so this will remember is two and three together. Taka takita in one beat. Check it. Taka takita taka takita taka takita. Throw down. Taka takita taka takita taka takita taka takita taka 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 Now six. Dinakatakita, Dinner kataki, the 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 dinner Ooh, starting to rush there. Once we learn the basics, we can start improvising with the balls in that jati, like for instance in seven. You could reverse it. So the accents shift. Instead of just taki ta taka demi all the time, why not taka demi taki ta taka demi taki ta taka demi taki ta? So you have a feeling of three four or four three. They're different accents. They feel different. If you put them together, you could put three four four three. It would actually feel more like a fourteen then. Taki ta taka demi taka demi taki ta taka demi taka taka demi taki ta taka ta taka demi taka demi taki ta taka ta taka demi taka demi taki ta ta. There's so many ways you can do eight, but we're just doing four and four. Taka dimmi taka jenna, 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 double, taka dimmi taka jenna, 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 taka that's a very typical South Indian way. In the north, they may say, 
That's very traditional for Pakawaj Tabla. It's a little harder to say though. Titakata Gadigena. Beautiful. But if you want something very easy to come off the tongue, Titakata Gadi. Titakata? No. What was I doing? Takedemitakajena. That's a South Indian bowl. So, <clears throat> then, if you want to try nine, try putting nine into a beat. You can also superimpose three, three, three. That's nine in one. Now, that's pretty hard. So work up to it. You can make the metronome slower and do it. <clears throat> but if this is really new, just go up to five. Taka takita, taka takita, taka takita, taka tu, taka takita, taka takita, taka takita, taka. Then shift rhythm scales. Ta, ta, ka, takita, taka demi, taka takita, taka takita, taka demi, takita, taka. Ah, so I'm going up and I'm coming back down. You can go up to six. Ta. I'm going to start on two. Ta ka ta ki ta ta ka dimi ta ka ta ki ta dinna ka ta ki ta dinna ka ta ki ta dinna ka ta ki ta ta ka ta ki ta ta ka dimi ta ki ta ta ka ta. So try this. You can try this and post it too. Ta ta ka ta ki ta ta ka ta ki ta ta ka ta ki ta ta. My metronome skipped a beat. So you can improvise with the jatis, but be very clear about which subdivisions you're doing. Jatis are subdivisions because you have one beat and you're subdividing it further. Okay? You feel me? Now let's just end with a couple cross rhythms. So, either keep moving, or if you have stuff you can uh, play with your feet, that's a, that's a great thing. But you can just walk in time, so, right, left. So let's just start, we're walking in four, and we're, we're counting three. Jatis, let's keep them all in four per beat and just phrase with them. So what does that mean? That means we're not changing the rhythmic values, we're changing the rhythmic phrases. Okay, and we can use the same 
uh, we can use the same bowls, the same words. So say, taka dimi, taka dimi. We're just going to stay in four per beat. Taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi. I'm going to stand up and do it with you. Taka dimi, taka dimi. Taka dimmi, 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 Now, I went into takitas, I went into the threes without changing my rhythmic values. So it's just phrased in three. It's not a jati. You understand? We're phrasing in three. We're still in the four. Jatis. Wow, someone's joining in for the last minute. Okay. Now this gets into the same kind of concepts we've been doing with the polyrhythms. So we start four. Three. Back to four. Now we're gonna phrase five, keeping it in four, just like we did with the three. See, I'm not, I'm not changing the jatis. If I change the jatis, it's taka taki ta taka taki ta taka taki ta ta. That's different. That's a quintuplet. Quintuplet means five and one. We're keeping it four and one, but we're saying five. We're doing five notes. So those five notes are going to cross over the bar, and you're going to be like, whoa, it's freaky weird, but I can do it. Now six. It's basically the same effect as the threes but with different words. So we're accenting after six. And look, if you have to build it because you're getting freaked out, build it. That was a key when I hit the stick. See? Then there'll be a ta, and then you'll have to start over. That second din is up here, it's on the off beat, yo! So when does that next stick hit? What syllable does it hit? Tell your brain. Say, hey brain, listen. Listen to the syllable it hits. Sometimes it's hard to hear because we tend to think of the first the first note of the phrase is supposed to be like the the one the, the, the accent of one and it is but you gotta notice where the beat's landing. Now I can re-accent, this is the thing I like to do too, is re-accenting. So I can be like, But that kind of breaks, it's a good training wheel. Because it makes your mind's eye see where it lands on the beat. But after you get that, Put it back to the real accents, because that'll be more musical. Now, 
Good. So, now the sevens. Let's at least get to the sevens before we're done. Remember, we're keeping the phraseology that the jati is the same. The subdivisions are still in four. So we're not doing jatis like takademi taki to takademi taki. No, we're not doing that. We did that. This is different. We're phrasing in seven, maintaining four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Mathematically, it's like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 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 one. It comes around the bend, see? But you're gonna have a lot of offness until it does. Be friends with the offness. Let's see. Taka dimmi, taka dimmi. Start with the four, so you're really in the feel. Taka dimmi, taka. Now seven. Taka dimmi, taka. Taka dimmi, taka. Taka. Taki. Taka dimmi, taki. Taka dimmi, taki. Taka dimmi, taki. Taka dimmi, taki. Taka dim, taki. Taka dim, Comes back around. Now, if you're like, dude, that's easy, man. So then do a double speed. Ah, munch. I'll practice that. But you can too. All right, any questions about this? The eight is easy, you're just doubling up, so that's no big deal. There's no difficulty with that one. It's just getting your tongue to do that. Let me bust off this metronome. All right, did you get your heart rate up a little bit? Cool. How do I unmute everyone? Uh, all right, anybody got questions? Anyone? Unmute yourself if you do. Hey, John's wearing an Ozo Motley shirt. I just recorded with Jiro yesterday <laughs> for Super Bowl Sunday, the new one. <laughs> oh, is that right? Yeah. I recorded... <laughs> Them about a year and a half ago, and I don't even know if it got released. Did yeah, a I'll, ask, I'll ask him. We're going to do a video thing. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I want to hear that shit. Oh, man, I'd like to play on Super Bowl Sunday. That was one of my favorite songs to play with them. Yeah, <laughs> super fun. All right. So, uh, anybody got some questions? What's yeah. up, Ben Rush? On that last uh, seven cross rhythm, how many, how many times I was... I was getting confused. How many times do you have to go around to for the rhythm to resolve? Kind of? Let's see. Should be seven. It's eight. Eight. Why is it eight? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's do the math. Well, it's... Uh, because you're taking one off of... The end. I'm still burning up my math skills. Mina, why is it eight times math, math girl? Eight times what? Oh shit, man! You don't pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> I think it has to be seven. It's yes. seven, actually. What's that? I think it's, it's seven. It has to be well, seven. Then it would be seven times seven, and that's forty-nine. Right? 
What's the question, please? How many times to resolve the seven? In four beats? Yes. 28 times. 28, well, 28 is the total number, right? Yeah. So, but it doesn't take 28 times to resolve. It takes eight times. Seven times. <laughs> eight times. There's seven times. Seven times eight is fifty-eight. Seven times eight is fifty-six. Right. Three can do me ducky. Four can do me ducky. Five can do me ducky. Six can do me ducky. Seven can do me ducky. Eight can do me ducky. The one. So seven times eight. Fifty-six. Yeah, and eight ten. Mina knows the answer. <laughs> I know my times tables. Okay. Write it all out, then you can. <laughs> so. The answer to the question is eight. If if anyone wants to explain why, um, my math brain is not working so well tonight. But that is the answer because I just I just showed you. This is on and off. So that way I know it's coming back to an even beat. Any other questions? I want to find a satisfactory reason why that is. I don't know why my math brain's not working. You can write it out, then you can. Yeah. <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah. Hey, I have one. Yeah. Hey. Um. Um. So after we internalize this, the bowls are. Is it fair game to play them on the tabla or pakawaj? Um. Is it. Uh, is that common? Uh, all these all these rhythms are are played on tabla and pakawaj, yeah, mm -hmm. like in a million zillion different ways. So, uh, so yeah. is it best to is it best to practice them uh, by saying them and dancing with them first, and like we're doing to kind of get them uh, um, internalize them, like you were saying. Well, yeah, I think that that is a great thing to do. And it's kind of the premise of this whole class uh, for, but for any instrument, really, mm. you know, whether you're playing tabla or you're playing drum set or you're playing uh, saxophone or you're playing the kazoo, you know? So, so you could actually use these on like a, on even a melody instrument. Not course, yeah. I not mean, that's, that's mostly what I do with it. I play percussion, but not, I, I, I'm not, I'm not a percussionist. Uh, I do it to get better at rhythm. But no, I apply these to my sitar, my guitar, my bass. Uh huh. I'll try it on bass. I'll try them on bass. See how yeah. that works. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I, I do a lot of ragas on, uh, on bass if you're ever interested to explore some of that. I have some, some videos on that too. You play electric yeah. or upright? Cool, man. I'd like to. Yeah. I'd like to check you play it out. Play electric or upright? Uh, you know, I play both, but upright is my main, upright is my main instrument. Oh, it's great for Indian music. Yeah, I'd like to get hip to that. Um, yeah, check out my videos. They're, uh, <laughs> uh, they're not in this link, but if you look up my name with uh, Bass Raga or something like that, you'll see them. On YouTube? Yeah. Okay. I will. Cool. I'll, I'll try and learn something from it. Thank you. Cool. Hey, Paul. Okay. <clears throat> hey, um, any other hey, questions Paul. that I would want to just uh, tell you guys a few things before we close? Hey, Paul. Yo, yeah. Sorry, hey, uh, Anamitra here. Yeah. So, I, yeah, um, I think you were right. So it takes eight, eight avartanya or um, eight Sorry. rounds because, uh, do you see my, uh, my paper? Yes. So four beats, right? One, two, three, four. Yes. Perfect. And we are fixing seven beats. Yes. Four. So uh, takadhina, Takadhin. Yes. Uh, so, in if we do that for two two rounds, we are missing one bit. Right. Which means, in order to 
fix one bit, we need two rounds. So in order to fix four bits, we need two times four, eight rounds. And that's why yes. it gets uh, fixed in eight, eight after rounds. eight After eight uh, repetitions. Yes. Cool, thank you. <laughs> yeah, the different ways you can think about, there's so many different ways to think about these things and to, th and to and look at math, you know? And so it's, uh, I'm actually trying to get better at math. I used to have, uh, my friend Mina is a math teacher, but she doesn't help me. I just used your formula. I just used your formula too. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, any other questions? Karina, Tomas, Armi, Nisha, Nelson. Oh, Nelson, you're there with, with the homie. All right. Are you new? Or you came before? I can't hear you. Oh wait, let me try to unmute you. There you go. Yeah, I've been here before, and this is my dad. All right. Yes. If we're, uh, and we're from New Zealand. All right, the New Zealand crew. How you doing, Dad? What's your name? Gunya. What is it? Burgundia. Burgundia. All right. Thanks for checking in with us. I hope I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Right. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, we, thanks, we're having Nelson. Look math skills now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> math is not my forte, but I'm working on it. Yes, sir. Hey, hey Youssef, where are you, brother? Hey, how's it going? Good, um, man. I'm in. I'm in Oakland. We met. We met one time at uh, Sebastopol. I'm I'm John's friend. Uh, oh yeah. At that house gathering. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. So I'm. Culture. Yeah, that was before all the craziness happened. Yeah. You know, right before yeah, that was a fun it. Fun so. concert. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for joining in, man. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. Appreciate. It. So so uh, <clears throat> unless there's any other questions, Sebastian, Kabir, Lila, anyone, Jess. No. All right. So, um, can, can everyone just open up this link for a second that I put in there? Does everyone see it? It's, I want to make sure that that's working for everyone. It says the Google Docs. No. Yep. Can you get in there? Okay. So, <clears throat> there's uh, some other learning opportunities there. Uh, so I'm feeling really good about, you know, the first, whatever we did five, six weeks of this. Uh, and if people are into it, I'm going to continue to do this free class, but I also have, uh, you know, opportunities for like a, like a, a pro class, which is a video based class. And that's for, you know, playing, playing instruments. So, uh, Western instruments. And then, um, if, if anybody wants to schedule like a lesson. Uh, they can do that through these links too. Uh, and then the PDFs are there. Does everyone see that document? It's got yeah. the login. Okay. So, and then the, the class PDFs and the Facebook group, I just, we just decided to put this all in one document so it's easy to kind of like share. And I, I'd, I'd be really happy if each of you like shared this with two or three musicians who you think might be down for uh, joining. Um, and we're not going to start over. We're just going to keep doing stuff. And and at the beginning, I'll remind people, and then they'll they'll have the documents to kind of learn it. But don't worry about it being like boring, or you already know this, because we'll always add new things. Okay. Um, can so you and can you post it on the Facebook group the links? Uh, once, sure. Once the chat is closed, I don't think can we get back in to get the links. Oh, well, if you, if, if you take, if you copy this link, um, let me, if you're sharing it with somebody, you want to have the links ready for them. Oh, okay. Let me actually, this, this link you can share with anybody. It's not like a private link. Uh -huh. I mean, all, all the link to the, the PDF and the Tambura and all this. Yeah, those, those should be, all be accessible. And the, the last thing I wanted to, to mention is I have a new record out of classical Indian music with a wonderful tabla player named Shashanka Bakshi. And there's a, there's a link for that too. And if, if you get the record, then there's a, there's a live free concert you, you get for free too. So anybody who can, 
that would be awesome to uh, check that out. And I'll keep posting stuff on the page when I find interesting concerts or links, especially in the Raga we're studying, which is Yemen. But there's like literally hundreds of recordings on YouTube uh, and just available, you know, anywhere you buy music. Uh, Yemen is one, really one of the most important ragas to learn. Uh, and it's really the foundational raga. It's an evening raga. And when you sing it, you, you, you're basically preparing yourself for uh, really learning this music at a deeper level because it's, it relates to so many other things. So that's it. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, spread the word, and everyone can see those links in that document, right? Mm -hmm. that doc if you open up the document, it, you'll have it open after the Zoom is over, and you can share it. If there's any... Um, if there's any other issue, just hit me up on my email or website. And I hope to see you next Monday right here, same bat channel. Okay. Thank you, Paul. All right. Thank I you. like your desert background, Nisha. Thank you. So, so this was taken on a trail that's um, a few miles from where I live. Uh, I've been kind Beautiful. of just ex exploring, and I just kind of... Um, wound up here so this is a photo i took a couple of weeks ago that's awesome i love it yeah <laughs> i see that vita <laughs> <laughs> all right well i had a, a i had a uh i had one that was like a big space thing for a while and i i, I said well this is maybe this is gonna be too far out but uh no there it is <laughs> that's one of the zoom ones all right, you guys, have a beautiful practice this week, and see you next week. And uh, all the best. Keep it glanging. Bless, bless, bless. Over and out. Thank you, Paul. Have a good night. Thank you, Paul. Good night.